Speaking of inexpensive things, and then earlier we were talking about the mosquito thing. Mm -hmm. I took a road trip. I went down to Palaka to have an experience, get close to nature down at Ravine Garden. So, you know, come hike with me. When I made the trek down to Palaka to check out Ravine Gardens, I had no idea that the state park is in your backyard, literally. I met up with assistant park manager Justin Flincham, who offered me a wealth of information. Ravine Gardens is a, it's a New Deal era park, one of nine in the state of Florida. Um, it's not a CCC park, it's a WPA park. Um, it was a program put together by uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt um, during the Depression. Um, it was used to um, uh, promote tourism and um, create jobs for people and Ravine Gardens was one of the uh, one of nine parks where they you know helped uh, build the park. There's trails throughout the park. Um, there's a formal garden that people can come and walk through and look at the flowers. Okay, Justin, I'll take over from here. When you enter the park, you're immediately drawn to the Court of States. Here you'll find flags for the 48 states that were recognized at the time of the park's creation. You walk the path and see each flag is embedded in stonework in the order of the state's addition to the United States. Ravine Gardens spreads about 140 acres with 80 of that available for people to see. The park has two ravines up to 120 feet deep. While most gullies and trenches are caused by temporary flooding, the Steephead Ravine is permanent with a spring-fed creek that never dries up. There are two options for making your way through the park. There's a hiking option, which will take you through multiple trails and two suspension bridges that offer views up and down the ravines. My time was limited, so I chose option two. I drove the 1.8 mile paved road known as the Ravine Loop. There are a number of areas where you can stop, get out of the car, and take in breathtaking views of the ravine. Ravine Gardens attracts people for many reasons. Locals come through daily and trek the park for fitness purposes. There's also a workout park available. Picnicking is another attraction, along with the amphitheater that held the first Azalea pageant and has hosted multiple spring concert series. Justin says the park would not be able to maintain its beauty without the help of its many volunteers. This active bunch are daily regulars. Guided tours are available. Justin and his staff look forward to sharing their knowledge and helping anyone who comes through to unplug from technology and get a bit more in touch with nature. I'm feeling very zen. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. You know, I have lived here forever and I feel like I've moved to a new place now that you've been taking us all around the city and, show, <laughs> and outside true. our city walls and showed us some new things that's great but you guys have to experience it for yourself and Ravine gardens has a lot of hot activities coming up especially for the young ones at the end of the month they're going to have like a couple of three-day summer camps oh, cool. for third through fifth graders and they're going to do build bird houses and their whole premise is getting everybody back in the nature unplug get and commune with nature I like that yeah, yeah. so if you want to know more information go to our rivercitylivetv.com page and click on as seen on river city live <laughs>